<clears throat> I did a show in New York, a uh, large show, thousands of people. Uh, I got a standing ovation. I was feeling like a rock star that night. Um, you know, I was on my way home after the show, and I got to the train station in New Jersey. As I was walking out of the back of the train station, and for some reason this night it was like filled with homeless people. Uh, as I was walking out of the back of the train station, I realized uh, that after looking over my shoulder, one of the homeless people at the train station was my mother. Um, now, at the time, I hadn't seen my mom in maybe five, maybe more years. My entire life, my mother has dealt with mental health issues, and that developed into some substance abuse issues. And, um, you know, we've been dealing with it since I was born. And I, I lost track of her, and she popped up at this random train station in the middle of the night. And um, the only thing that I could think to myself was, you know, I wonder how many people stepped over her, looked at her like she was trash that needed to be swept away or bacteria that needed to be cleaned up from, from our society and, and never thought that she could be someone's mom or sister or aunt or anything of that nature. And so I wrote this poem for anybody who is judged wrongly, but uh, especially for the most important woman in my life. <clears throat> Open letter to my mother. I remember a time they called you sunshine. Fierce little red bone firecracker. New Redeemer Baptist Dorothy Dandridge with a down south sermon of sequin in your summer solstice smile. Sunshine, the center of my universe. Sometimes even I'm afraid to get close to you, not interested in reliving Icarus. So I love you from distances that only leave opportunities for photosynthesis. And though I know we've had our share of differences, I will not let anyone paint you as the portrait of poor choices. For how many of them have studied sunshine? with the naked eye, stripped of judgment, pupils to your solar eclipse. Need they be reminded that even when darkness persists, still sunshine exists, sparkling beyond postpartum depression, never letting paranoid schizophrenic scrim dim your jubilee. Drugs couldn't crack you. Perseverance on the tip of the tongue of your yellow dancing shoes. Possible is a roller coaster handlebar, and together you and I, threshold, sober, unyielding, underneath ultraviolet melanomatic memories, the indelible scent of cocaine suffocated plastic forever singed in my sinews, myrmidon in my melanin, marriage of warrior and wisdom, this mahogany skin is a celebration that sunshine knows best. Sunshine, you taught me how to love life, how light lingers liable looking for lost. Sunshine, you told me to love God but question religion. For some reason, you still raised me to be a Christian. I guess you knew I would never think a story fiction where a son sacrifices his life for who his father loved. Sunshine got me believing in miracles like some series of sun-soaked syllables could quiet the cumulonimbus, violent voices clouding your invisible that my tongue could tame the rains and in the salt water silence, you would only hear one voice clearly, mine, saying I love you without knowing how. One voice saying after all of this time, finally, I forgive you. One voice begging you to forgive me for standing with my back to the sun, complaining about the darkness and the shadows, too stubborn to see I was the one blocking the light when I should always be your proud orange moon, reflecting light on lucidity lost one day. I pray you get to see your sun shine. Radiate with pride, bask in your sunlight, bear hug the horizon, serenade the dawn, and when dusk finally comes sunshine, mama, dance like God is preaching your every footstep. Peace.